right, guys, he crashed off a two here. Alex Kennedy into the wall as the 23 has heavy damage on the right front and right rear. Into the wall, Brendan Newberry in the 14 gets turned around, brings out her first caution. Oh, we got trouble coming off a two already. Matt Kenseth is around a hard hit. Kenseth took a hard hit. Oh, oh and the car's on the head. Donnie Nuremberg at 52 goes tumbling down the backstretch and then in the inside wall. Sauter involved in it, and that's the thing about this racetrack is we are destroyed. It's like a pinball. When they start wrecking, there's just nowhere to go. And you can see Donnie moving around inside of that car. Aaron Justin's been running low. Where will Justin go? Fuel also an issue. Will he have enough to make it all the way? Justin Lofton has the lead, coming through three and four. Coming out of turn number four, Lofton, Keslowski, and Lofton is going to win at Charlotte. Lofton gets his first win in the truck series. The problems, that's the 0-2, I believe, of Kelly Sutton. Got a little bit, bit of fire behind that truck. And let me just tell you, it has been very dry here in the Kansas area. It's going to be a little bit of time before they get that out because the grass is going to burn here in Kansas right now. That's the truck going across the infield. She's going to make some real hard contact with the inside wall, very reminiscent of Jeff Fuller's crap. Got some damage here with a 14 car. Well, that's not baking powder we see puffing out of the back of that car. He's got heavy damage, and Kyle Krisiloff was supposedly going to be the lucky dog uh, award winner during this caution flag. But that he wasn't very lucky at all. Let's take a look what happened here because he's tr he's a lucky dog. He looked like he's flying. Oh, he's flying back up to the front. And that is something you really got to be careful of. The 33 car, Tony Reigns, is warming his tires up. And the spotter always needs to tell the guys, here comes the car. Oh, we got this big hit by Looks Ricky like Carmichael, Ford. right? Big hit by Carmichael into the wall. Destroyed the front end of that truck. Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, good to hear that. Thank goodness for those safety barriers. Look at loose. the destruction. We heard Ricky oh, just that say race he truck. got loose. Wow. On the back stretch, and the spotters identify it. They jump on the radio, a little bump at the same time. That's where it throws it, the 66 over on the right rear. See the left front tire? He's turning to the right, turning to the right. Nothing he could do. Yeah, I mean, that was just racing between the 30 and the 66. The 30 bumped the 66, got him sideways. The 66 was trying to get down below a... That is one of the big problems at this track is overheating. Those brakes are so good now that they, they make so much heat that the weak link of the chain is that bead on the tire. The middle of your screen, the 12 car. That thing just busted loose and he was just hanging on for the ride at this point. Told the team the car had been loose up until then. I think slid a quarter mile before he hit anything. I mean, Look, think about how far that is. Here he is coming off turn four, down across the apron, on the pit road, blew the right front. Thought they had the car to win, only to be taken out by Mark Martin. Of course, Carl knows it was unintentional, but he said the best remedy for his cars get back out there. We have a crash in turn four, guys. Jamie, we do have caution on the racetrack up in turn four. A couple of cars involved. The 28 car, you saw him just trying to hang. He was rim riding on the outside of Fire Brian. Up. Back it up if you can. Brian Keselowski and the four car road. of Robert Richardson Jr. involved. Speaking of Carl Edwards, 